I'm a cider drinker I drinks it all of the day I am a cider drinker It soothes all me troubles away Oh, I roll Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now on today's episode I bring to you a cider that has actually been very hard for me to track down for you guys. And that cider is Simmons Founders Reserve Cider. Now, like I say, I haven't actually ever heard of this particular type of cider before, and like I say, it was very hard for me to track down for you guys, only finding it in one store out of the four or five that are actually around my area. So, um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to trying this one, but before I do that, let me just give you some details on Simmons Founders Reserve Cider. Simmons Founders Reserve Cider comes in 568ml bottles, or you can get it on tap in certain establishments as well. The strength is 5.5% in volume. Now, I'd like to tell you if it's a sweet or a dry cider, but unfortunately it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle, so I can't tell you that right now. Now, the price was £1.75 for this particular one. I could only find it in Morrison's as well, which is a bit surprising. No other big supermarket seemed to stock this particular cider, so it's either Morrison's or certain pubs that you can get this cider from. There we go then. Now, cast your mind back to the late 80s, early 90s, and you'll actually find that Simmons Cider was actually quite a popular one, because I did some trawling on the internet before I um, started this review, and to be honest, I don't really find much information about this thing, other than one particular viral ad that seemed to be going around to promote this particular cider. So it obviously must have been quite popular for it to warrant an ad, although quite why it's gone into obscurity and it's so hard to track down, I really don't know. Like I say, there was only one store in my particular area that was doing this, and I'm pretty sure you can still get it on tap in certain pubs, but none of the ones in my area seem to do this, so this is literally the first time I have seen this cider, and to be honest, I'm really looking Looking forward to trying it. I mean, the bottle just kind of stood out like a sore thumb in amongst all these, you know, typical Bulmers and Magnus that the stores do, and this one was just standing out there like going, oh, look at me, you know, buy me, because, I don't know, I really like the blue and gold design. They complement each other really well. They stand out from the rest of the ciders out there, and also it's going for the whole apple silhouette thing. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's got a little apple silhouette in the trees and a little guy getting the apples down off the tree as well. Just overall a very nice, nice design to be honest. And I do like, uh, uh, some people don't like this foil on the bottle caps. They think it's, you know, completely pointless. But I don't know, I just think it's a nice little touch. It just adds to the whole character of the bottle. Now on the back it does have a small description. It says, Simmons has a rich heritage from the golden age of cider making in Herefordshire. Our cider apples are pressed and blended to deliver a fresh, crisp, fruity cider with a high degree of complexity and depth of character. Now, as you guys, well, hopefully should know, the two main areas for ciders are Herefordshire and Somerset. So, uh, yeah, it needs to say, I am looking forward to giving this one a go. So, without further ado, let me just get this old bottle open, shall I? Wow. Quite easy to open. There we go. Tops off. Now then, the old smell test. That smells pleasantly sweet. Like I say, I don't know whether this is going to be a sweet or dry cider because it doesn't say. But uh, yeah, I'm getting quite a quite a sweetness from it. It doesn't smell sickly sweet though. It just smells altogether rather pleasant. There's no appearing sharpness from it. Anyway, let me just pour some into the glass as well to show you what you what it looks like. There we are. Well, it just looks like a normal cider. A lot of a lot of tiny, tiny bubbles in there as well. Don't know whether you can see that, but um, slightly more golden in colour than other ciders. But otherwise, it just it well, it looks like a cider, thankfully. Mmm, that, wow, that does have a very nice smell to it, actually. Now that it's actually come out of the bottle. Ooh, can't quite picture. I got, like, slight hints of honey, which is really strange. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's got a very sweet smell, but it's not sickly sweet. It's not, like, making me go, oh, God, I'm going to get 
tooth decay from it or something. But one last thing to do, and that is to give this thing a taste. So, bottoms up. Wow. That is incredibly nice. Ooh. Now, that's a different taste. I've never had that before. Oh, I'm just trying to think of a description for it. It's it's a sweet cider, I shall say that. Probably medium sweet, I'm going to go for. It has kind of a slight hint of dryness, but it's quite a bit sweeter than other ciders that I've tried before. So, let me just get a second opinion, because that was quite pleasant. Hmm. Wow. It's not thick at all. Some, um, some ciders can be incredibly, like full bodied full bodied in the mouth but that that's very very clear goes down very well sits very well on the palate too it's like i say it's got like a slight hint of honey to it which is really strange because obviously this is a cider but i don't know maybe it's just the type of apples that they've used in this process that have given it that sort of characteristic and to be honest it's a very nice tasting one too get their taste Hmm. Wow. That rests very easily on the tongue. That just... <laughs> again, this is a very easily drinkable cider. This is incredibly easy to drink. I, I could easily see myself going through whole bottles of this because it's just overall very pleasant. Definitely. I'm going for a fourth try. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, there's no tartness to it. It's not bittersweet. It's uh, it's got a kind of a kind of a tanginess to it actually in the aftertaste I'm getting now. Like uh, whenever you put um, one of these like fizzy cola bottles or something in your mouth and like uh, it has an after effect of like having a bit of a tingliness at the back of your throat. That's what I'm getting from this cider actually. And it's actually a very nice feeling. <laughs> it just, again, adds to the whole flavour and characteristics of this cider. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. This is really nice. Very nice. Hmm. Wow. I'm definitely going to be getting some more of that Simmons cider because, well, for £1.75... That is very well worth it. I like this. I'm definitely going to be popping down to Morris's again to get me some more bottles of this. I don't know why it's been shattered into obscurity by all these other commercialised ciders because this stands head and heels above of them. That's for sure. Well, overall, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. So, I'm going to go and give Simmons Founders Reserve Cider... Ooh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. There you go. <laughs> That's actually um, on par with Thatcher's Gold, the only other cider that I've given a 9 out of 10 for, well, apart from the um, Rum Oak cider that I had at the Ale Festival. But for off-the-shelf um, ciders, this is one of the best-tasting ones I've had. This is, seriously, track this down. If you can find it in your Morrisons, because that's the only place I can find it, seriously, buy this. It is... It's brilliant. It's really nice. I, <laughs> I know I've said nice a lot, but that's that's all I can really use to describe this. It's just an overall very mild, easy to drink, pleasant, nice tasting, not too sweet cider. There we go. <laughs> that has been another episode of The Cider Drinker. And to be honest, it's been a quite good one for me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to finish this Simmons Cider off. So, uh, until next time, guys, I'll be giving you another delicious and tasty cider to review. Take care.